this is my engine I was given for free. And I'm scrapping parts off of it. Um, I noticed when I was rebuilding it, um, this is a Ford Mazda engine. You can find it in a Ford Fusion, um, 03 or 04 to 08, something like that. Or a Mazda 3. It has a timing peg tube. This goes right there in that little hole. It looks like this. So this little deal goes right in there. Like that. When you're not timing the engine. So this is kind of like a plug. Um, when you're doing a head job, like there is the old cylinder head. Um, I got another one that was clean machined and it's on the car right now. But I'm in the middle of timing the engine. And to time it, you need a special tool. So this actually is too short, but there is a longer one that you can buy that's like a hundred bucks or something like that. And basically what it does is it pushes up against the, the weight on the crankshaft and it keeps the crankshaft from turning. So instead of spending a hundred bucks, I decided to make one of my own. So here's what I did. That's the bolt I use, okay? And this is my special tool. So, what I did here is I wrapped it. First I measured it to see what I needed. I measured it on the arm block, not on that ugly block, but the one outside. Just to double check the length I needed. And you can also go on the website and um, find one, find out the measurements and all that crap. But or you can just, you know, do it the old-fashioned way. Um, you put a bolt on here, so I put a bolt all the way up here, okay? Because you want to protect these threads here. And I put a piece of tape as far down as where I wanted the threads to be cut off. So I say about right there. And you want to shave all that down like this. Okay. Alright, so you just want to back this bolt off here. And the reason why you have the bolt there is to protect the threads at the tip where you're cutting. And then you use it to cut and just run it back and forth a couple of times. That way, the threads are good. So, that's our special tool that I cost you a couple hundred bucks from um, Mazda or Ford, wherever you go to buy it. You can get it on the internet too, but you can do all that or you can take it just to the parts store, find out what the thread pitch is, which I will just tell you, you want an M10 by 1.5 by 50 millimeters. You only need a 50 millimeter that long. I'm mean, gonna actually cut a little bit of it off. I didn't use that much. I mean, I didn't cut that much. So this will give you an idea what the link you're needing here. That's the plug. A special handmade tool. Original bolt. As far as the nut, um, nuts at M10 by 1.5, I mean, obviously. It. Total cost is eight bucks for all of this, give or take. Probably less, depending on how many you get in, you know. The, so, now the big test, which is not really a test, but I know it's going to work. sucker down until that sucker gets the weight. As you can see right there. Now obviously this one's not top dead center so no, that's not going to work but you get the point. Okay, it's not at top dead center because it's all jacked up and rusted. 
but you see how it works. And I could actually back off some more threads or cut off the tip a little bit, but you know, I think that'll work for what I need. You can take off some more of these if you want or leave it. Basically, you just don't want that crankshaft moving on you. And I mean, if you want to save yourself some money, I mean, a nice thing is that you can make this adjustable. Um, so on the next car, if you don't need that much length or going all the way in, you can actually just screw it into where you need it and leave it at that. Anyway, uh, real quick video. So. Thanks for watching. Um, if you like it, go ahead and hit subscribe, hit that like button. And I just wanted to make a quick video on this because I know people spend a lot of money on special tools with something like this you can make. All you need is a flat disc, a 40 grit metal cutoff wheel, and that's to you know, shave off that and a pair of vice grips so you're not sitting here holding it like this but you actually have the vice grips you actually have the vice grips to hold it like this while you're doing your deal anyway um, I'm gonna go ahead and um, stick this on a block outside and finish time in my engine and there's plenty of videos on that I mean I might make one just depends on how I feel how much battery I have which looks like I got plenty so I might make another video on that so we'll look for that in the future if not check out the other ones on YouTube they're all pretty darn accurate there's even one in Spanish if you want to hear it in you know Spanish anyway thanks for watching guys and I'll see you later